What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow, like always, chilling with those dos muchachitos, Averno, Atlantis. And um, last weekend on Saturday, there was a small show in Visalia, another Ohana Comic Con. Um, they're always doing show, little shows around here. It's cool, cheap to get in. Nice people, good vendors. Um, uh, had a good time, like always. Got a bunch of got a bunch of books, uh, mostly cheap books, but I got some good stuff too. Um, then on Sunday was my birthday, and so I'm gonna show some of the birthday stuff that I got, um, and then that'll be my haul. So thanks for joining me, and let's get to it. Um, let's see, so first, Big Baby Mama, the love of my life, she got me this. DC Primal Age, Bend over a little bit, and it's, if you can tell by looking at the body and the, the way this thing is made, it's basically a He-Man, uh, He-Man Batman, which is pretty fucking sweet, so I was happy to get that, thanks Big Babe Mama, love you, you're the best, um, makes me kind of want to get the other ones now, looking at these, uh, like that green lantern one looks cool, um, that King Shark looks pretty fucking sweet too. And that scarecrow is kind of nice. But yeah, so that's what Big Baby Mama got me. And my lovely sister, Laura Nicole Monique, got me this Crown Royal Texas Mesquite Whiskey. Um, I was always told that only two things come out of Texas, but I guess apparently whiskey also does come from Texas. So with that said, here's to you, sis. Love you. <sighs> Tasty. It really does have a um, smoky, like mesquite taste to it. Like some ribs or something. Anyways, thanks again, Nicole. Love you. Get that out of the way. Then this I got for myself because as you get older and your birthdays pass, you realize you got to treat yourself, otherwise birthdays are going to suck. So I ordered this from uh, Jim Mafood's website and looking from the writing on this, it looks like he, he uh, labels his own stuff because I've seen Food One before and I know what his handwriting looks like so anyways guys remember you, you guys know me I'm a I like my bargain comics so for me I shelled out 10 bucks for this book because I've been wanting it for a long time Let me get this open um, there it was free shipping so that made it kind of a little easier on me to to accept so I don't like buying stuff for full price but I thought about it and I'm like man let's say that's like basically like two new comics come out to about 10 bucks any fucking way and half of those maybe not yeah like around half of those i don't even fucking like and i end up spending that much so like why am i being cheap for it i wanted it i got it um and here it is carl the cat that makes peanut butter sandwiches i believe uh Mafood signed, yeah, Mafood signed it too. That's pretty fucking cool. So I'm really glad to have that. If you don't know about that, look it up on the um, on YouTube. There's like a little video showing um, uh, Mafood working on this, and that's what got me to want it. I mean, if you see it, it it's it's for adults, but if you watch the little video, it, it, it's it looks good. It looks it looks funny. Good shit. I, I'm a fan of Mafood, and um, his like kind of wacky out there shit that he does so yeah I got that happy birthday to me now um, so at the con um, my main guy that I always go to that always has the, the discount books uh, he was there and that's where I got most of my stuff from um, I'm gonna show the other stuff that I got and then for the people who don't care about the bargain bin books 
And then for those of us like me who love the bargain bin books, I'll show those afterwards. Um, if you guys have ever heard me talk about my uh, pathetic Ninja Turtle collection, you'll understand how happy this makes me. I got this from my guy that I, that I bought all my quarter books from. Um, he had it in a separate box and I seen it and I was like, oh shit. So here it is. First edition Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at that cover. Virgin cover. This was made back in 1988. Look at how thick that is. Woo! Yeah! See that? Um, it had a $45 price tag, but um, it was 50% off. And then plus that guy, he's always cool about making deals. Um, so this has issues 1 through 11, plus all the solo uh, one-shots. The Raphael, the Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo. So yeah, um, I, I don't know if you guys heard the story before, but I, a while back I bought one of those jetpack mystery boxes for my boy for his birthday. And I watched him open it and just book after book after book of good Ninja Turtle shit. And I was just like dying inside. But anyways, um, my collection of Ninja Turtles shit sucks. And I have a great love for Ninja Turtles uh, and a hate, great hate for the cartoon. Because when I was a kid in the 80s, I was lucky enough to read some Ninja Turtle comics before the cartoon came out. So I was expecting one thing and got something totally different when the cartoon came out and I was pissed. All the kids at school thought it was cool. I fucking hated it. And I still hate it to this day. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I've always wanted to read this stuff. I have, I have, I've only read the Raphael one shot and the Leonardo one shot and a couple of random issues, maybe three other random issues. So I'm real happy about that. No, more than three because, well, some of those were tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My brother had like four or five books. Now these, funny enough, um, I just read issues one through three of Tom Strong. And um, I think I've come to the conclusion I'm just not a big um, Alan Moore guy. I mean, it was cool. There were, it wasn't bad by any means, but... Um, it didn't actually make me want to seek out the rest of the series or anything. So, um, yeah, uh, anyways, that's how I, I was like, okay, I, I don't need to seek this out. I was still going to hang on to those issues that I have. But when I came across this hardcover, retail, retail of $24.95 for $2.00. And it's a nice book. You got that little built-in bookmark. Look at that. Nice gold in, in, in embalmed or whatever the fuck you call that. It's like a little gold foil on there. Anyways, uh, yeah, two dollars, man. So I had to pick it up. Um, I'll read the rest of it that I haven't read already, and then. I'll probably trade it in because, like I said, it's not my favorite shit. And if I can get a good trade in value for the two bucks that I spent, plus I get to read it, that's all good, man. So there's that Alamore Tom Strong book one. Two dollars. Alamore Tom Strong book two. Two dollars. It has the same, uh, gold thing on the actual book. That's fucking nice, man. I wish more of these hardcovers would do that. Or something like that. Um, top 10. I've heard nothing but good stuff. So I am going to read this before I trade it in. And let's see what they got in the... They got the gold foil. Uh, just the top 10 logo. Still cool though. Again, $2, man. And one more. Tomorrow Stories. So this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually read it or not. Um, but for $2, like I said, it'll be worth it on this one. It has a gold foil, just the, the logo. 
Um, for two dollars, if I can get the good trade-in value, then I will take it. So now to the bargain bin books, and I got these all from all from one seller. Um, I got that Ninja Turtle book plus all of these books for a total of thirty dollars, which is pretty fucking sweet. So I got this uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi coloring book. I got a couple of ideas what I'm going to do with it and who I'm going to pass it on to. But I'm not 100% sure. So for now I'm just hanging on to it. I'm probably going to save it until... I always have every year I have a um, Star Wars Day Mayo party and invite all my family and stuff. So I think I'll save it until then. This year we're going to be doing it on... Cinco de Mayo rather than rather than the fourth. So then this is the all the stuff that I got um, from that guy out of his discount. They were twenty five cent. Well, a couple of them were fifty cents. A couple of them were twenty five. But at the end, I just offered him thirty. Gave me everything for thirty. Um, here is Excalibur. Now I had thought I had bought this a while back from a twenty five at a twenty five cent vendor, but I couldn't. Fi I can't find it. And I so I went back and watched my haul video, and it's not in that haul video either. So. I'll, I don't know if I just thought I got it and I didn't pick it, I didn't buy it, or what the fuck happened, but I got it now, so that's cool, I, I've heard good things, I like the art on this, uh, um, it was a Paul Neary, oh yeah, um, what's his name, Mark Davis and Paul Neary, yeah, so that was cool, and then I got this uh, Suiciders that I'm slowly chipping away at, this is number four, by uh, Lee Vermeil. I like it. It's pretty sweet. That's all the Marvel DC stuff that I got. Uh, let's see. I got this XL. Um, I'm a fan of Joe Casey and a collector of Damian Scott. Damian Scott, my man Mosh, doesn't do a whole lot of comic work. So whenever I see his stuff, I get it. Um, they had another issue, but it wasn't on my list. But I think I fucked up because... This, I didn't realize this is volume two. And I'm on my list. I didn't even have any volume two books. There's only volume one. So I think I messed up. I should have got that, especially for the price. I never see these in the bargain bins. That's from uh, Catalyst Prime um, Lion Forge Comics. Um, I was interested in this when, it, when I seen it in the uh, solicitations. Uh, Kennel Block Blues. I like the anamorphic or whatever it's called stuff. That's number two of four. And then I got number four of four. So now I got to be on the lookout for um, one and three. And this looks kind of like my hairy little friend, the googly eyed pup named Buttersworth. I don't know. Is anyone, if anyone knows if they've read this, uh, is it a Boston Terrier? Anyways, so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading that. It looks pretty cool. Looks like some thug life shit. Uh, I got Shaft, Imitation of Life, Part 4. I read the uh, the first Shaft series, and it was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't read all of it. I read the first two issues. So I'm on the lookout for those also. Um, this is a different storyline, so now I have, I, I'll be on the lookout for the rest of those. So at this, this haul, I didn't find a lot of stuff off my list. Nonetheless, I found a lot of cool stuff that I was happy to get. Stuff I didn't know I wanted. But, like I said, at a good price. Why not? Um, the Goon. Once Upon a Hard Time, Part 1 of 4 by Eric Powell. I haven't read much Goon stuff. So, um, I'm going to read that issue. And if it, if it grabs me, then, you know, then I'll keep looking out for the other ones. I bought this one by mistake. Um, I thought this was number seven from volume one. Just not paying attention. I don't see these the Valiant books in the in the discount bins that often, so I, I just scooped it. I wouldn't have got it if I realized what it was, but hey, you know it wasn't like I dropped a bunch of money on it. Three ninety nine price tag. Maybe I'll just trade it in. I don't know. Um, I got this the Hangman number one, Frank Thierry, Thierry Felix Reese, chapter one. Um. I was interested in this book when it came out. 
I didn't pick it up. I liked um, the Black Hood from the Dark Circle comics, from the Archie comics. Uh, that was running around this time. Uh, like I said, I was interested now, but I never picked it up. So uh, I want to check it out, see if I like it, and then go after the rest if I like them. That seems to be the theme for the day, for the haul, I mean, trying some stuff out. Uh, speaking of which, I never heard of this before. I like this uh, Riley Rossmo's art, and I like this style of, uh, that he's drawing right here, like this, uh, the book's called Dia, Dia de los Muertos, and um, looks cool to me. That's number dos, here is numero tres, um, looks cool, I like the cover, I like the way these guys look. Don't know what it's about, Never haven't really looked it up or anything, so I guess I'll find out and then see if I want to find number, uh, however many there are. At least number one, right? And that's from the Shadowline Image Comics. Uh, got Rumble number one. I have some more issues of this, but they're a little bit later, like 8 to through 12 or some, some number like that. So I want to start with number one. And then I'll read those other ones and see if I want to fill in the blanks. Um, Star number one. I was interested in this when it came out, but I didn't pick it up. Um, pretty much, I just buy I I buy the uh, Daniel. I don't not Daniel, Daniel. I don't know how to say his name. This guy, he's the artist. He's dope. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of comic work. I wish he would do more. I wish he would do more um, superheroes because his Captain America, uh, Dead Man Run, Dead Man Running was 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 awesome. Um, I got Days of Hate again. I'm mostly in it for the art. Same guy. Again, non superhero stuff, but I like his art. I was buying it, and it was cool. But for the price tag, I dropped it, and I figured because I was looking at the back issues. And the ones that even I bought have already gone down in price. So I was like, why am I going to pay full price for these? Um, I have like one through four, I think. Maybe five. So that's kind of cool if it, if it is five. Because then I have the number six right there. To follow up on it. Um, this one. I was always curious about this one. Big fan of the art in this. I don't know if the story is good. But I get to start with number one. So that's always good. And that's uh, Empty Zone by Jason Sean Alexander. That's number one. And number three. Unfortunately, they didn't have number two. But again, even if it's just for the art, I'll probably hang on to those. He's currently working on Spawn, I believe. And those those books are pretty sweet. And then we got Five Ghosts. Um, I'm trying to complete this run. I, like the, I read the first like six issues. And I'm trying to put together the second half of it. So there's number 11. Uh, I really like this Mooneyham's art. It reminds me of old style Marvel shit like like Mike Zack or um, uh, I'm to think, John Byrne. John Byrne. Byrne. Whatever the hell's name is. You guys know what I'm talking about. The guy used to draw Oxman and shit like that. Even old, older Mark Silvestri and, and that kind of stuff. So there's um, number 11, number 16. And number 17. I think um, I think Mooneyham is drawing uh, Nightwing now. And I picked up a couple issues of that just for the art, but I really didn't care for the story that was going on, so I dropped it. Which sucks because, I'm, like I said, I'm a, I really like this artist, and I really like Nightwing. It's uh, pretty disappointing when that kind of shit happens. So this one I'd always been curious about. As you guys might have guessed, I'm a big wrestling fan. And when I say wrestling, I mean wrestling, not just WWE. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do. I have grew up on WWE. But I like Lucha. I like Japanese wrestling. I like the, um, the stuff in the UK and Germany. You know, I like watching all kinds of wrestling. The Indies in the United States. Um shit I was at the first PWG show back in 2003 and I've gone to many PWG shows over the years since then 
like that shit is awesome that's a whole other subject though anyways i don't want to get too deep into that uh so anyways here's ringside number one like i said i've been curious curious about this title for a long time i think it's still ongoing actually i know a lot of wrestlers have endorsed it but you know how those fucking guys are they're always trying to work you so who knows um so there's issue one number two number four and number five i'm not really impressed by the art but you know i'm gonna give it a chance um i have never read many comics about wrestling especially like that aren't treating it like uh like it's real you know this is like from what i understand it's you know they it's more of a realistic type of thing so anyways that was my haul um had a great time we got a couple shows coming up in the next few weekend, uh, the next months. Um, I got this one that I'm going to at the end of this month. There's Pop Culture Comic Con in Bakersfield. Looking forward to that. Five dollars to get in. Should be a good time. Um, and that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to hit me in the comments, like, subscribe. I love the comments. Love uh, interacting with you guys. Um, share with your friends all that good stuff and uh, thank you to all my family that came out and, and uh, spent my birthday with me it made my made my day um, I love all you guys and that's it man so like I always say get off of YouTube go read some fucking comics